I felt a little sick as soon as I, um, I hope you guys can't hear that. I have my fan going. Hopefully it's not staticky. I'm just going to record it and hope it's not static, staticky. I felt sick as soon as I sat down to do this. So that's interesting. You guys are getting affected by my energy. It's so cool. It's not like I'm the one molecule or anything. Um, yeah. So hi. Do I purposely have demonic eyes? Do I purposely look at you with a demonic stare? No, I don't. This is just how I look. Are we a group of demons? Yes, we are. Have you been lied to your entire life? Yes, you have. Is Christ the savior? No, he's not. I'm thinking about my little gray bots and how much I love them. How much I hate yelling at their human personas. Um, that is so funny. I feel like a little nauseous right now. And I did not feel nauseous. Sitting in my bed, listening to outer space sky guys talk to me and be like, hey, record a little video about this. So, um... Does she have blue eyes or gray eyes? I have blue eyes. Adam has gray eyes. Oh, you got blue eyes. Oh, you got green eyes. Oh, you got gray eyes. And I never felt anyone quite like you before. And Michael has rainbow eyes. So they wanted me to talk about Ryan, the lion from Orion. Um, sure, I'll talk about I'll talk about him. Okay, it's just the energy. There's a lot of Ryans in the world. Can you please like stop being stupid? I stop being stupid. Stop being stupid. Um, so when I first met. My alien father, named Ryan the Lion from Orion, <laughs> it was terrifying. I was terrified. I got put on a ship. That was, you know, um, it was when I was like going through my latest, not my latest awakening, but when I was going through my, what do you want me to call that? My grand initiation. Okay. When I was going through my grand initiation to the upper realms, it sounds so formal. It sounds like something April O'Neil would say. I went through a grand initiation to the upper realms. And let me tell you about it. <laughs> In a very professional, calm manner. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Guys, stop making me laugh, please. Um so um <laughs> My headache's gone. I had a clip sick. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's pausing again. I had a clip sickness again today. No, I mean, what? Um, I had a clip sickness. <laughs> this is so, this is like, I'm like, I can't even form a sentence right now. I'm just laughing my butt off. So, um, when I met the um, Lyran aspect of myself <laughs> on ship, I was teleported. I think I was like sitting in my living room or something like completely not magical. And I got like teleported on to a Lyran ship and there was a good, 
you know, a gigantic blue, like blue, bluish, black, grayish with like rainbows running through it. Um, Liren sitting behind the, uh, this console on his spaceship. And there was like, like, I don't know if you've ever been on a spaceship before. I don't know if you've ever experienced outer space before. I mean, I'm talking to a lot of da da that seem to have never experienced outer space. I've, been, I've never been put on a ship before. I never, I never had an experience on a spaceship. I don't believe in aliens. They're forcing me to be gay. Um. But yeah. Um. <laughs> so anyway, when I. <laughs> When I got catapulted to outer space um, and put on the ship, and it had like a bluish gray, like hue around it, and and then the line at the console, who is not a single person. Okay, that's why I'm trying to tell you guys that kind of stuff. Like you think, oh, this lion is connected to this one person, and then that's it. It's only that one person that has that higher self, that lion higher self, and that's how it works. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Okay, I've explained how it works many times. I have such an attitude problem because I want you guys to listen to me. But anyway. So, um, the lion, higher self, Liren, higher self, and, and he was sitting behind his console, and if you've ever been on a spaceship before, and now here I am, about to get sarcastic again, um, there's, like, a lot of buzzing, there's, like, a lot of vibration, because you've literally changed vibrations from Earth, and you're in a different vibration in the star system, and so you experience vibration differently, and so there's, like, a lot of, like, like, like sort of like that and it's like and like there's like all of these like space sounds right like that and um and then he's like sitting behind his console and um yes I guess I'm Max and um he's like sitting behind his console and he's like and I'm like hiding I'm like he's sitting behind his console it was a lion okay and I'm like crouching, like, I'm like crouching like this. I'm like terrified. And I'm like literally like crouching because I was just terrified because the sounds were so loud. There's this huge Liren like in a spaceship. And I'm just like by myself with this huge Liren in a spaceship. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like freaking, t I was terrified. And um, remember, you're telling us the story for a reason, Ellie. So, um, so yeah, it was like so terrifying and he's like talking to me calmly and stuff. And he's like, I just wanted you to see like where I work from. This is like where I, this is where I work from. And that was like his first like introduction to me, my introduction to him. Um, he looked like a Russian blue. Do the math. And, um. Yeah, it was terrifying to meet my father uh, when I first met him. It was absolutely terrifying. And that is the nat that is the reptilian naturally occurring Lyran, okay, that I always talk about. That's him. And um, then I got to know him more and more and more over time and, like, different experiences with him in outer space and stuff. Um, and like sort of like a more like human, uh, what do you want me to call it, Dad? Like a hu more like humanoid representation of him on Mars. Um, and then, so, didn't he take you on a cruise throughout the solar system to different planets when you first met him I um yeah I guess I guess so I guess you could say he did I did go to a lot of different planets um at that time um Mars being one of them Alpha Centauri um Saturn he took me to Saturn I think for like my birthday or something like it was like some um 
It was a present. So, yeah, he did take me to, like, a lot of different places in the universe. And um, that's when I, like, was, like, getting to know getting to know him. And obviously over time, I started to fall in love with my um, star system, Liren father. And... I, uh, then I started to, one of the holy images that you guys like is he's like a gigantic lion and I like sit on his back. Like I'm like this tiny and I sit on his back and I like run around on his back and stuff. I'm just like this little, just this little thing, like running around on this gigantic lion's back. And that's an image that you guys seem to prefer. And that's a very nice image. And it's a good um, thing to do, like when you're scared, like like think of yourself as like Ponyo. Like you're a little Ponyo walking on a gigantic lion's back. Like that's how I, that was the experiences that I was having with him. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the experience with my Lyran timepiece. But for some reason, they wanted me to talk about how terrifying it was to meet him for the first time. It was God awful when I first met him. Oh, and then the, yes, that's the same father that did the, I'm not a narcissist, but I have fleas. That's the same, the same entity. That's dear old dad. And, you know, he thinks it's quite funny. And um, it is funny. It's very funny. But yeah, the spaceship part was terrifying. What else do you want me to say about Lear and Dad? Anything else? That's Nightmare on Elm Street. That is correct. So that's why, you know, he's a naturally occurring Lear in. Reptilian, you just go up the food chain. Same, same freaking energy. It's the same freaking energy. You're not a Lyran star seed, okay? If you're just a Lyran, you're a Dutta. You're a light stick. You're an Anunnaki slave, okay? If you're just a Lyran, that's what you are. All the way up the food chain, okay? Reptilian, naturally occurring Lyran when it goes up the light chain. It's the same energy. You have to accept that you're both dark and both light. The reptilian is my Brandon. It's my Brandon Lee, okay? Again, it's just the energy. That's the face he gives me. You got it? Like, they're talking over walls. Please calm down. Please calm down. Um, They're chanting right now. Um, no, he's not. He has no weapons. And he's... Um, I mean, think about a lion in... Think about a lion in outer space. Okay, think about a lion on Earth. And think about a lion in outer space, okay? They can't be that much different. Okay? Um, but he, I'm his daughter. Okay. So the way he introduced himself to me might be a little different than the way he introduces himself to you. Unless you fit in nicely with the Anunnaki crew. Okay. So, um, again, and it was terrifying to meet him. He is terrifying. He can, he can absolutely terrify the crap out of you. And he did when I first met him. They want me to emphasize that. Is there anything else you want me to say about about 
Lyrans. Yes, he was a man. He was a humanoid, I'll say, a humanoid on Mars. Like a kind of look like Wolverine, like sort of like that. Um, what else do you want me to say about him? Any other encounters with Lyrans? Uh, I did. I did another time um, after this crazy long drive, like across the United States, which I really enjoy taking these long drives across the United States. Um, after this really long drive, I couldn't find a hotel room. There was like, it was like during something I, I had to drive from, I think, I don't know, Savannah to Los Angeles or something. I don't know. And I couldn't find a hotel room because of something going on in LA and so like that took like a whole like other like hour two hours plus I had I have dogs so I have to find like a hotel that like is dog friendly too on top of it so it took like a really long time there was some kind of event going on I don't remember what event but you know it's LA it's pretty common to have like events in LA and I checked into the hotel room and I was like really excited because I had like this interview the next day and even if I've been like awake for a really long time, if I'm excited, it's <laughs> it's you, Alyssa, and this is not necessary. They love to like try to stop me. They used to do that to me all the time. Maybe that's why they're saying it. They used to try they used to do that to me all the time try to interrupt my videos when I was recording this and I was like no I'm gonna record this I'm gonna record every single spiritual thing that that is happening to me and that has happened to me so there's a record of it because I know the universe and I know this shit's real and blah 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 and so like I, rec I recorded everything and they would always constantly be like you don't have to do this you don't have to do this and I'm like no I'm doing it I'm recording it um, I think they're just joking, but it's funny that it did come up because they used to say that to me all the time. And I was like, no, I'm in charge. I'm allowed to record this stuff. And like, I know that like I have, you know, big ass entities in outer space that are already helping me. So I'm not afraid. So, and I wanted like a record of like, if anything did happen to me, cause you know, I was like paranoid for like a long time and stuff. And when I was getting to know like the outer space crew and whatever, I was like paranoid, like, oh, maybe, maybe we are hunted or maybe, you know, the dark side is in charge and like, you know, all of this like crazy stuff that like made me really scared and paranoid and have anxiety. And maybe that's why I'm saying that. Okay. Because, you know, who I'm trying to bend right now. So, um, Oh, so I was trying to get a hotel room, took a long time, finally got to hotel room, I was really excited, and when I get really excited, it gets hard for me to sleep, and so I took some, like, Advil PM, and still, like, was having a hard time sleeping, and, like, the whole room filled with this, like, vibrant, like, vibrant, like, hot pink, neon pink energy, the whole room filled with this neon pink energy, and I was like, whoa and I immediately felt relaxed from it it made me feel immediately safe and secure and relaxed and you know I wasn't excited anymore and I wasn't like nervous about like the next day and the interview and everything and I was just like oh my god the unconditional love is like so beautiful and then there was like um is that an Eben it's like a tiny it was like a tiny alien like this big um it was like a tiny alien this big, kind of looked like a like a Yoda 
or like a gray or something like that. But it was like really little. I mean, I've seen grays before, but I've talked about grays a lot, but um, this one had like clothes on and it kind of looked like a older mom. And she was like standing right here. And then there was, <laughs> Did I say that? They're being funny. They're being cheeky. So, um, and then, uh, <laughs> you guys are interrupting me tonight a lot. And then there was like a raver like a person, like a human, like a human man, raver, like right here. And then there was, um, in front of me, upside down, was a console, like a spaceship console. And it was a tiger Lyran. Okay. So that there was a tiger Lyran. Okay. So the tiger Lyran was in front of me, but upside down in a console and it looked like a tiger. And I was like, whoa, that is so cool. And then the raver showed me this demon he captured. And he hung him up upside down in the room. And the demon was like hanging up upside down in the room. And I was like, whoa, that is so crazy. And like I would put my hand out and it would start zapping me. Like I could feel the demon at the demon's energy and it was like a zapping energy and I would put my hand to it and it'd be like zip 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 up and I'm like whoa that is so crazy and then the reaver was like okay calm down calm down like you know don't like don't zap yourself too much and then the um then the um Was that a shape-shifting reptilian that they caught for you? It, no, it looked like, it didn't look like a shape-shifting reptilian. It looked like, sort of like, uh, sort of like, oh, you're still angry at me. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have evil reptilians dancing around you because you don't believe in yourself yet. I'm so sorry for you. Uh, no, it was like a, a, like a, like um like a dobby like it had like big big like elf ears sort of and um yeah it was like when we were all scared of demons and stuff and you know we were stupid back then so um then then um anyway the tiger Lyran then it was still the tiger leering, but a Palladian jumped out of it and it was a small blonde woman that like jumped out of it and she was upright and she was like smaller than me. She wasn't like, I'm, I'm like sort of like average height. I'm not, I'm not like petite and I'm not like tall. I'm just sort of like average height. And she was like petite, like she was like me, but like petite and, um, and she was Palladian and she like jumped out of the tiger sort of and went right side up. And then she was holding a baby and, um, probably like my mom's size. She was probably like my mom's size. And, um, yeah. And I was just like, wow, this is crazy. This is my alien family. <laughs> The, the land of make-believe. <laughs> the land of make-believe. Relax the eyes, please. Um, yeah, if you don't like aliens, you're not going to like. Anyway, I'm talking to myself. i got to relax because otherwise I'm going to take this magic wand. And I'm going to go like this. Anyway. So, yeah. That girl is poison. 
Yeah, so that's another Lyran experience with a tiger energy. And I'm not a person. And I enjoy my alien experiences. And if you want the future, you will too. <laughs>